Okay, welcome back to the program. Yeah. I'm drinking some water out of my Brita filter. Brita filters. I highly recommend them. I tried something also recently with a Brita filter is uh, if you run vodka through a Brita filter, it, it uh, makes it really smooth. True. Yeah, there's still minute, but there's still some traces of vodka. Proper review. Of uh, one of my favorite tobaccos. I don't know if it's the best. A lot of them are kind of similar as long as they're in the uh, sort of shag tradition, I guess. So kind of similar. But uh, we're gonna try this one. I'm gonna put a little filter on it. So filter. Yeah. Of course, these papers that come with them, the J-O-B papers, these are the best papers for cigarettes. I don't know about anything else, but for cigarettes, these papers are the best. So, that, you know, you get 200 papers, that's a good and uh, you know you're starting on the right foot with that it's good okay. all right nice decent roll okay. mine's are always a little tapered it's a pally shag this is the white one I also have the blue one but we're, we're gonna do the white one today Classic European blend. There's not a whole lot of difference, I don't think. But to me, it's really good. I mean, whether this is white one or the blue one or drum or Amsterdam shag or one of those whatever they're all the shags are good but uh it's really more of a review of that style of uh cigarette I guess it's it tastes fairly pure it tastes uh Definitely different than a commercial cigarette would it taste. A lot different than American spirits or any of that other crap too. I don't really like any of that. I've never seen anybody else smoking this, but a lot of places sell it, so I assume somebody buys it. Zach, 
Me and Zach are the only people I see smoking these, but, uh, you know, people can't handle rolling in the cigarette. Pretty good. I recommend them. <laughs> 